Hey everyone, welcome back to The Guru. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Quick Links Lab for Gmail. The Quick Links Lab allows you to create a link in your Gmail inbox to get where you need to be in just one click. For example, navigating to your Gmail settings can be tedious and take you out of your regular Gmail flow. Here's how to do it in one click. So first we'll need to enable the Quick Links Lab in our settings. We'll go to the gear icon up here in the top right and open our settings. From here we'll select labs and then we'll scroll to find the quick links lab. Select enable and then save changes. Now I'm taken back to my Gmail inbox and I see here on the left panel that I have a quick links area right here. If it doesn't appear immediately for you, select this ellipses down here in the bottom left called gadgets. Mine's already selected, so it's showing, but when I deselect it and reselect it, it should appear right here. Now when I'm ready to add a new quick link, let's say for example, I want to add settings as a quick link. You'll navigate back to settings, and when you're on the page you want to link to, you'll select this button here called Add Quick Link. Then you're prompted to title it so you can recognize it in the future. Let's go with settings. And now it's populated here as settings, as what I've labeled it. So I'll go back to my inbox and test out the quick link. I'll select the title I made for it called settings. And when I click it, I'm taken to my general settings page. Now say I wanted to create one that takes me directly to my filters. I'm someone that uses a lot of filters in my Gmail and I need to go back and forth and edit it a lot. So I'll go to the page that I want to link to, Filters and Blocked Addresses, and then I'll select again the Add Quick Link button. And I'll title it Filters. I'm back in my inbox and want to go straight to my filters. I'll select Filters here, and I'm taken straight there. As you can see, this feature will save you tons of time navigating around Gmail to do the things you do on a regular basis. We hope you found this tip helpful. Thanks for joining the Guru and we'll see you next time.